Single loop control methods deals with the tuning and configuration of PID, Proportional Integral Derivative Controllers. A controller's main function in life is to take a set point or a reference and a measured value and make them the same. Remove the error. That's the difference between the set point and measured value. It removes that error by adjusting a final control element like a valve or an actuator or a drive. And what we're finding is with the expansion of automation, the amount of time that our customers have to optimize those loops has gotten shorter. So we have um, the the uh, area of influence of what we used to do manually has not kept up with technology. As a result, we're seeing loops that are starting to oscillate. We're seeing about 25 to 30 percent of those loops actually increase variability. About 25 to 30 percent are actually turned off. Um, and then we find about, again, 20 to 25 percent are out of range. So that's about half the loops don't do anything for regulation. About 25 percent actually induce variability and about one in four actually do the right thing. We also found that if you tuned 100 loops perfectly at startup, that a control loop has about a half-life of six months. That means in six months, half of those loops are going to need to be retouched, reevaluated. You know, processes change, actuators change, instrumentation changes, um, uh, recipes change. So they need to be looked at on a fairly regular basis because once our control loops regulate, it reduces energy, it improves, reduces variability, which allows for um, the cost to produce by making substitutions in raw materials. It allows us to increase our operating window so that we can respond to upsets faster and disturbances faster and trips, we can avoid them. So with the ABB ability, with the digital transformation of our equipment, we can look at large scales reduce the problem space so that we can help our customers hit their production quality and cost to produce targets much faster by making single loop tuning a priority.